In order to meet the regulatory standards for discharge, Tokyo Electric Power employs an advanced liquid processing system to treat the contaminated wastewater. Although the company claims that the system eliminates most of the radioactive isotopes in the wastewater, it accepts that the radioactive tritium is not removed. Instead, it has promised to reduce the concentration of tritium to one fortieth of that permitted under the government's safety standards. However, Tokyo Electric Power stands accused of falsifying data and concealing safety issues at the Fukushima plant, and this casts serious doubt on the safety of the treated water discharged into the sea. Basically, if you look at tank by tank, I did this a couple of years ago looking at their data, not mine, but I believe the results, but what they tell me is that each tank is quite different. So one might be very high in tritium, but low in cesium, or low in cesium and high in strontium-90. And so there's a lot of variability. And why that concerns me is if you haven't analyzed all of the tanks, and what you show me are levels that can be a thousand, a hundred thousand times different between tanks. The Geomar Helmholtz Center for Ocean Research is the world's leading institution in marine research. It conducted a simulation experiment on the discharge of radioactive substances. The results showed that the powerful currents along the coast of Fukushima could spread radioactive materials to most of the Pacific Ocean within 57 days from the date of discharge. The US and Canada would be affected in three years and most of the world's oceans within a decade. Chicasona, 